Oh gosh, I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. So I just got this coffee beans from Ruff and it's actually my first time trying their coffee and yeah, this is the packaging, right? The label from the packaging and I'm definitely, definitely keeping this in my journal. Oops, that's a little bit of coffee steam. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane, not Jeanette or Janet <laughs> and now uh, I'm back guys I'm back for I think I, I did not post any video for like past two weeks I guess I'm currently like uh, going to move out from my current space to a new space and I'm a little bit busy and um, yeah that's why I'm not been updating so much even on my social media posts but I do update my stories do follow me on my Instagram if you are a paper lover, these are coffee filter paper. They are actually perfect for uh, crafting and journaling. Instead of uh, throw out this whole coffee paper with coffee, you can just actually remove the coffee, wash off with water, and then sit it, let it sit for a while, and the paper is going to dry up. And what I usually do is let me move this away. I have actually collected a bunch of coffee filter paper. So this is not... I should have more at some other place. So these are the dried out ones and I actually played with uh, watercolor. And when they dry up, the texture is really amazing. I love it. I love it. So what I would do is, they're perfect for layering. Look, when they dry out, they look kind of like vintage. So these are like coffee stains. So the longer you let your coffee sit in that paper, it's gonna get really, really brown. And then you're gonna just roughly like wash it off with water to just clear off the uh, coffee powder and then let it dry and so sometimes it's going to be really white depending depending on which uh, coffee filter paper you're using so there's this coffee stain I love it so I actually collected a lot of it and I'm not sure what to do with them but they're they're just perfect for for layering or you can if if you know how to uh, sew you can actually sew them on your uh, junk journal or it's, it's it's just beautiful well this is very coffee this is very coffee <laughs> what i mean very coffee is this it's a bunch of coffee i love it i love it i'm slowly packing my things right now and i think i'm going to move maybe next month i knew that i will not be i will not have the access to reach to my stationery so i have already packed some that I will be using. I'll be. It's like imagine I'm going to travel for two, three weeks, and what would I bring with me? What which stationery supplies that I would bring with me? Yeah, these are the stuff that I have with me right now. Um, it's crazy. I I don't know because I don't I don't want to have too many things with me. I know it's it's like pouch in a pouch. Why not? <laughs> So what I have here is just, this is my current favorite water resistant wax pastel But I really like this because it's really small It fits in my Delphonic pouch So I got this Delphonic pouch from the Delphonic's website You can actually order it online from their website uh, Yeah, and, oh yeah, I have like a little small, my favorite uh, I don't know how to watercolor, but I like watercolor. I just like I just like them. Like I don't know. I don't even know how to draw. Like, but I just like to make like background base with watercolor. I can show you in my journal later on. This is from Stickerific. I got it from Stickerific, which you can order from their website. And okay, so what's in here? 
I mean, that's all I have like this this tree tree uh, fountain pen that I hardly use it just stays here I I, <laughs> I don't know I don't know so you have too many things and you just yeah I just stay there and you never do anything with it I don't know I I don't know why I need so yeah it's <laughs> I love clips I think it would be handy when I want to do a uh, like a coloring because my journal is yeah it's really thick it's so thick that it's unable to sit flat and I a clip will be very helpful so that I can do coloring but let me show you the flip through later after this so these are the stuff I have right now with me pencil watercolor brush these come in handy very handy because you can actually put water in here and all you need is a uh, like a napkin or yeah I'm, I'm holding a coffee filled paper but you, you can actually like dab off the excess color that you don't want you can just wash it off and then uh, you can dab it a different color so it's very useful I think it's very useful yeah you can bring this traveling with you very very useful although I still prefer the real brush but when it comes to traveling and easier access with water yeah this is it this is it so definitely need a glue stick because I always tear stuff and stick them this is just like like a liquid paper that I always correct my words washi tape I don't know this like a marker pen and oh god I don't even want to know I, I don't even want to go through with you <laughs> there's just so many things in here so these are the things I currently have and there's also more in my journal pouch this is a blue uh, it, it's, it's like a glue thing glue roller I know some people haven't seen what is this it's like I could just use this to it just sticks it just sticks so I I, I have the smallest one because it's much easier to, for me to bring around but it's gonna get used up pretty fast because it's small so yeah sometimes I would use this glue or sometimes I would use the glue stick I prefer the glue stick they're much better but well, this one has the ASMR effect where it does this roller sound and all that. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Do you buy stuff because of the ASMR? Like, <laughs> but anyways. And this is a portable portable scissors from. Um, I think this is from Midori. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is Midori. It's handy, but. For if you were you have a lot a lot of things to cut definitely a real big scissors will be better but this is just convenient like if you were to take it outside to meet your friends like you want to journal together yeah this this will do but for real like hardcore uh, <laughs> uh, real cutting ASMR you definitely need to use definitely definitely need to use the real scissors uh, this is just like convenient and small so yeah and what is this this is for me to peel stickers you know like it's easier sometimes you have you have no nails and you can't remove the stickers so this is washi excess washi tape that I have I have it all over the place like really a lot of them so yeah I have a lot of them like yeah and more clips so this is my two current journals for this month and next month so this is for my uh it's a mess <laughs> it's a mess it's it's filled with a lot of scrap and a lot of things I don't know so this 
is from Anatomy. Uh, it's a Malaysian brand uh, planner. I did a flip. No, no, I did an unboxing and the shop uh, visit on my one of the video in my channel. And uh, why I bought it is because I thought I wanted to do some uh, uh, work related, maybe bujo planner thing. But in the end, I did not do that. <laughs> But uh, I lately I've been taking it out just to do my uh, renovation process, like the serious stuff. Like uh, I would put my layout, my home layout, and pictures from the ID, and um, yeah, I, I have some real stuff like my ideas, like what I need for the new house and stuff and measurements and my tasks which is this is the task like i just wrote my task like uh i need to get a quotation for my curtain and blinds like internet installation and everything so all these are my little tasks that i need to do but yeah anyway there's a lot of things i can do with it because i can actually remove the insert and change it to a different kind of uh setup I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, so let's back to Traveler's Notebook. Coffee. I need coffee. Wait, because I haven't had one. This is my first cup of the day at 11.25 a.m. Tastes pretty good. It tastes like tea with a combination of coffee. So it's pretty light. Not bad. So yeah, this is my set up for the month of October and I don't know what's gonna be next month but yeah I have a, lot, a bunch of stuff here uh, oh gosh <laughs> I don't know because I'll be meeting friends like in another in another like two weeks or something for journaling and these are the stuff that's with me I thought I'm gonna be using like I have like stickers, 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 postcard, stickers, stickers, washi tape stickers, uh, paper, scrap paper, uh, paper, paper, paper. Yeah. <laughs> it's, but yeah, this pouch it's from Travelers Company, of course, and these are some uh, patches that I stitch it is it stitch? yeah it is stitch I don't remember and I even have like a 10% voucher for Muji which is oh it's expiring this month yeah it's expiring it's expiring this month okay I need to do something and this is like a photo of me random totally random so this this thing is from Traveler's company, of course. Yeah, you can buy it and actually paste it here. It comes in handy for my little little stuff. Oh, I have a why do I have so many kind of papers here? So <laughs> oh gosh. Sorry guys, what am I doing? But yeah. And then I do have like a bunch of oh god, more scrap paper sticker material for me to journal anytime I'm one on the spot even when when I'm in a cafe doing nothing and when I'm bored so yeah this other stuff and this is my business card a business card from my client I have more stuff here again stickers <laughs> it's been here for so long stickers Oh, another <laughs> more scrap paper. No wonder it's so thick. No wonder it's so thick. My journal, there's a lot of scrap paper. You know what? I'm gonna remove this. And uh, four pen and pencil. So this is a lead pencil. 
this is a multi pen with four inks. There's blue, brown. I did uh, another video about this. So there's four ink blue, brown, red, and black. And this is the same brand, but there's five inks here, five different colors. So these come in handy when you do not want to bring too many pens with you. And these two, I'll bring it. And this is my fountain pen from Lummy. I think it's the model Lummy 2000 where I feel with the... I love it. It's really nice. I actually use it with the ink uh, which I recently get. This is the sketch ink in this fountain pen because why I'm using this, it's waterproof. Okay. It's, what, it's gonna take a while to dry, but I'm good with that. And I actually like this because it's waterproof. Because when it's dried off, I can actually overlay it with my watercolor and it doesn't smudge, which I love it very much. So, yeah, I, I am currently using this a lot. And this is actually like in. It looks like black, but it's not. It is actually like um, very, very dark. Green, it says lily, but in my journal it looks like black, but it's actually very, 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 very dark green. And uh, yeah, so these are my current pen and pencil that I use for this one. Actually, I've been using this a lot, like for because I actually put this with the basic color. So like you want to do documents and stuff, the usual stuff. So it would be perfect for this, like, I mean, the usual writing stuff. You wouldn't want too colorful stuff like in, like what if you want to sign a document, you wouldn't want to use like a pink, pink color, right? So I have, so these are the non-serious color, fun color. So this is the serious color. <laughs> This is the non-serious, serious color. So yeah, and of course, just want to say that because this this has four inks. Wait, yeah, no, five. One, five inks. This has four, so it is slightly uh, thicker, fatter. I'm not sure if you can see it, the difference. So this is slimmer. I think they have like a different. Uh, they even have six inks. I think if I'm not wrong, or they have three inks. So these are from. Um, Pilot Japan. The model of this pen is called High Tech C Coletto. So it says five here. So I can actually put five inks. So this is High Tech C four, and it comes with different colors, which I really really like. And so let's do a quick quick flip through because before I end this video, so I actually did. The previous flip through on a different video which is at the I did a flip through by the beach which you can see that so and then by the end of that video you can like you see me like uh, removing the one that I've used up and I actually replace a new insert in here so this is the one I think yeah this is the one I actually insert this so as usual I've been using I love my monthly layout from Traveler's Company. So I've been using from May, as you can see. I really love like uh, putting colors. I don't know, I've been using the monthly layout for years. I think since, I don't know, like 2001. I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been many years and I just couldn't stop using this every year. And oh yeah, this is the non-dated version. They have the dated version, which I prefer this because I could do anything I want in the layout because that is like fixed. They have date and stuff. So I know it's a little bit troublesome for you to fill up the dates, but I love it. I, I enjoy the process of making it. So that's why I've been sticking to this um, monthly layout for so many years and I usually like to use a lot of pencil from the beginning of the page like right now it's like October it's pretty much empty so I used to plan 
I always plan with using pencil which is why I have I always have a pencil with me because you do not know like once it's cancelled you can just uh, erase it off with a an eraser behind the pencil or if you have a real eraser which I do have as well I think it's somewhere in this bag okay anyways so yeah back to this it's August I like to like really fill up the empty page I don't know it's it's just like that like, these are the stems that I really, really like and this is pretty much empty like you see my it's all in pencil so that's it like I do prep them in advance like next year I wrote down the public holidays and that's it then this is my uh, weekly insert undated version from Traveler's Company I always go for the undated version because I could decorate any any way I want so this is September so these are just washi tape so you can be creative if you have too many washi tape at home I know many of you are washi tape holder so <laughs> I used to be too I, I mean wait I used to buy many big rolls of them and I have so many boxes of them like shoe boxes cases by cases all washi tape rolls and it's just too many of them so I, I kind of like get rid most of them and then I switch it to these little rolls that are sold separately from the seller you you can just ask your seller whether they can sell to you by meter or something like that instead of buying the whole roll because it's gonna take time to finish that whole roll of washi tape like i do have one here like this is not washi tape but i got this for free so um yeah it's gonna take time for you to finish them up like if you do not know what to do with them you can always like uh let me <laughs> like for scissors so think about i like this pouch but you need to like find them because this is not a washi tape so i can't just like strip it off like that so what i would do is oh just deco oh, so what i'm saying is like yeah it's not very useful when it comes to like but anyways yeah you can just like simply layer it with your washi tape and then it became a style <laughs> so these are washi tape so right now i'm using my weekly planner more like a planner and then a little bit of stickers i i don't know what style am i look like, even even this can you see this yellow um color it's actually watercolor i was testing with the sketch ink with this and it doesn't stain so it looks kind of nice when it dries up and these are real film uh paper box that i cut out from the box and this is my clothes label that i got obviously i've been shopping in uniqlo buying something <laughs> so this is the tag that i kept and i left it here and this is the tape that i really, really like i bought a new tape from panko and then this is the packaging that i kept and left it here this is the film box film box they're all paper packaging and this is the cafe that I had my lunch at. It's called VCR. So these are my uh, my tasks for the day. They're very basic. My planner is basic, and I just kind of like uh, make it like a scrapbook. <laughs> I bought a oh, so this is the pocket sticker from Traveler's Compi which I just mentioned this is the one the pocket sticker so it, it actually has this uh, sticky bag 
that's why it is called pocket sticker so that you can just paste it directly on your leather cover and yeah I obviously kept the packaging here <laughs> and because I really like the color and the numbers I don't know I really like this kind of font and I just like paste it here and obviously I have bought more stuff stationery label stickers I have stick them here YOLO you only live once and it's actually a food packaging YOLO food that I had recently and it's their paper packaging and obviously all these are my tasks for this week September and paste more stickers tasks and I was in IKEA I think on this day meeting a friend I think this two days yeah that's IKEA and I have a bunch of tasks and goals I just wrote here this is a babe cafe tissue paper that I had my lunch at it's it's actually not that hard like people say like they don't know what to do with their weekly or uh, I don't know when they say they don't know how to uh, journal well this is the way it's once you get the hang of it you know what to do like even yeah definitely in the beginning stage you won't know how or, and you probably feel like it's not beautiful and stuff but yeah one thing is don't compare just go to the, go with the flow and enjoy the process and you're gonna love it you're gonna love it and then yeah so again all these are my tasks this is a drink label that I tear it off when I was working in a wedding because <laughs> they were serving like this soft drink every to everyone and I saw this uh, bottle label right there and I just remove it on the spot <laughs> and then I brought it home and cut it and I paste it here because, because I really like this soft drink there's a lot of childhood memory with this drink and I just kind of write like home jog, ayam mas is the food that I had. Even if you don't know what to write, just write the name of your food or or the your feeling on that day. Like if you're feeling happy, just write happy. Like if you're not happy, just write not happy. Or if something disgusted you, just write it. Like or if something funny happened, you can just write it there as well. Like it's like a title of the week it's incomplete because i have not finished everything up this is last week yeah like last two weeks so i actually prepped this page but i could actually put in quotes in here if i want but obviously i did not do anything yet why are you late yes i'm telling this myself i'm always late because i've not been sleeping early and waking up late so i told myself to be very disciplined which you can see here and then i kind of lost my discipline in this week and i'm reminding myself again to be disciplined because i'm right now i'm trying to a new routine like waking up early and it's been working for the past two weeks because I've been I need to move my stuff and there's so many things to do. So this is last week. This is my food <laughs> label from the grocery store, and this is just like a, a cutout from a Japanese magazine that I really really like. It's called Fudge. Let me show you the Fudge. <laughs> so this is the Fudge. <laughs> F-U-D-G-E so it's fudge <laughs> so why do I like it because they have a lot of very very cute movement like uh, expression uh, photos which I can just cut it out easily and paste them on my journal like for example I've actually cut this off it's empty so yeah I do have a lot of cutouts like you know like I have a lot of fashion uh, magazine but there aren't movement they're just very artistic and they're usually a very big page and um, it could fit my journal because Travel's notebook is not that huge okay so this fudge 
I should have like smaller pictures to cut out like this all movement I really like the expression that they make so I bought it like yay sometimes they have two pages and I don't know where which side I should cut so and which is not which is why I'm not cutting yet I really like this this is cute though like yeah so yeah you can actually check out try to buy like fudge magazine I already had like three issues which I already have like four let me show you another one this is the recent uh, October issue it's perfect for journaling let me know if you knew like which magazine have such a kind of content which I can just buy and cut out I know I know you doesn't have the heart to cut out and it, it's not cheap but well it's actually better because if you were to get stickers and everyone has them so not everyone you know, I prefer not to use things that a lot of people are using so that it actually gave me more creative uh, ideas to utilize different stuff because I, I don't want just to use the same sticker that everyone be using but yeah so this is again I was saying this is my week's uh, plan and I always use pencil to plan everything in advance so all this are pencil pencil and these are empty and that's it for the weekly insert and then this is my um, <laughs> Art, scrap, book, uh, journal, I think. I don't know what you call it. There's so many names for it. <laughs> so this is, okay, what you're seeing right now, they are incomplete, okay? They're not done yet. But this is the cutout, stickers. This is me, a message to myself. This is a McDonald's voucher that I got from McDonald's. And I just cut out the voucher and placed it here. I really love it. <laughs> tote bag, obviously. I love tote bags. And then... And I just got a new car. No, 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 no. This is my old car. <laughs> this is my old car. Uh, posing with the old car. And I just printed out the film photograph that I took with my film camera. And stickers. So it's kind of like a scrapbook. I think and then this is the camera that I took my picture with like I actually had another video of me using this camera which is I think with the title uh, using my mom's camera from 1998 so this is my new car that I got uh, in September and um, this is my new house uh, that we've been working on with the renovation and moving and stuff and this is just like a, you know, like a drink paper, what do you call it? Like you put the, the paper underneath the cup, right? I forgot what is it called. But yeah, I had like Japanese dinner with my husband the other day on this day. So I kept this thing and it's in my journal. So why do I stick this? Because it represents of me um, moving because <laughs> I have a lot of things to pack. This is just art dumping in my book with watercolor, scrap paper, stickers, washi tape, random writing material. They're, these are not just watercolor, they are like a mix of uh, writing uh, different kind of material which I can share next time to you guys. Again, I'm art dumping everything in this journal with different kind of texture this is just this is paper it's actually a cover-up because I did not like what I did with it so this is the yeah I don't know what I'm doing but yeah you have no idea what I'm doing seriously <laughs> so I like this page I like this page a lot it's a mess but I love it it's a mess I love it I don't know I don't know what's this this is art I guess <laughs> You don't know what is this? This art. Another art piece. Probably it's not done yet. I'm just playing with abstract with Yeah, I was testing it out with tapes and stickers. Oh. 
I really like this page as well. I think this is done. This is done. I love it. I love it. Again, it's a mixture of different kind of watercolor and different writing materials. This is the cutout from Fudge magazine. I really love it. It says like so these two i mean they're both same lady they're like dance she's like dancing so i actually wrote here morning task dance the rule is you have to dance a little bit in the morning before you leave the house because it changes the way you walk out in the world <laughs> i really like this quote that i found online and matches uh, what she's doing so i kind of write everything here and again this background is actually done with watercolor I always like to prep my pages in advance so I think this is this is the wax pastel that I use and this were like a different uh, pencil that I used again yeah I'm just very curious with the outcome so this is what you do like if you do not know just what to do just utilize or the the uh, stationery you have in your book and uh, even this like this is I actually got this like this string for free it's just a fabric string which I tied it up with right outside of my travelers journal and then it became oh 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 my god so many things <laughs> And it became like a bookmark, which you can actually, yeah, just easily you can actually like customize your traveler's notebook journal. So yeah, back to this. This is again another cutout that I got everywhere in the place. And these are empty. These are just like, what do you call it? A uh, sticky note? Yeah, I have bought like a bunch of sticky notes. All these are my cutout that I have not used at all yet. Which I think it's, it's gonna be very perfect for my journal. And uh, like even this is a jeans that I really like. So it's gonna look like this. Imagine like maybe this like that. That and that I don't know like this is too big maybe so that's all I can do maybe and then put like a background here or do some pattern is it's gonna look great so yeah I do have like too many uh, stuff with me like I want to journal someday when I'm outside right on the spot with whatever I have here but even this like I really like what she's doing she's just drinking coffee and standing there so it's a nice photo so these are from Fudge so this is just sticky like all this uh, watercolor that I did more random scrap <laughs> That's all for this and you see like I have kept like a bunch of uh, <laughs> sticky paper notes and this is my sticker release paper uh, yeah it's like a sticker book which I have here and that's all I have here random stuff so this is my bill and yeah, it's that which is why this is why my journal is so fat and random and <laughs> that's all for today. I hope this video helped you in any other way and in I hope this video give you inspiration in your journal and yeah that's it. Goodbye, thanks for watching, bye bye.